Advanced digital electric meters, known as smart meters, provide utilities with real-time use and price information customers can use to reduce their energy bills. This is possible due to wireless communication technology, which produces a very low radio frequency, or RF, field. RF fields are not new. After all, we use wireless technologies every day. Do you have a wireless mouse or connect to the net using Wi-Fi? How about a garage door remote or wireless game controller? Do you use a cell phone or control your TV with a remote? These wireless technologies all produce RF fields. Smart meters produce a much weaker RF field than many of the electronics you use every day. For example, FM radios, Wi-Fi routers, and televisions produce very low fields, less than one microwatt. A microwave oven's typical field is a couple hundred microwatts, while a cell phone at your ear produces a field of 1,000 to 5,000 microwatts. A smart meter's RF field usually falls between that of a television and that of a microwave oven, and no studies have associated fields of this nature and strength with any known adverse health effects. A smart meter emits RF fields only when it is sending data, not when it receives data. Typically, a meter will transmit for less than two minutes per day. Compare that with the other electrical appliances that someone might use for extended periods of time. You would need to have a smart meter for 10,000 years to be exposed to the same RF fields you receive from one year of moderate cell phone use. One last point. Even though smart meters don't require a license, the Federal Communications Commission still has regulations that limit their transmitter power and RF emissions. And just think about the benefits a smart meter provides. Smart meters can help you save energy at home and at work. They can help the power company respond faster to certain types of power interruptions, and they enable competitive retailers to offer pricing programs that may help you save money. Now that's smart.